For this project, we are going to be using a bowl, artificial leaves from the dollar store. Make sure you get the ones that don't have that hard plastic vine in the middle. You want the really cheap, just fabric ones for this project. Mod Podge, any kind of Mod Podge will work. Plastic wrap. Let's get started. We're gonna start off by covering the outside of the bowl with plastic wrap. This is what's gonna make it easy for us to remove the leaves later as they are drying. So I'm just gonna smooth that down as much as I can. Tuck these ends under. If your piece isn't big enough to cover the bowl, you can always add another sheet of plastic wrap. So now we've got the exterior covered. Now we're gonna get started covering the bowl with the leaves. So you might wanna check your leaves if they tend to um, curve in one area, you can put that on the inside since it naturally curves that way. These are pretty flat, so you could use either side. All I'm going to do now is paint on a lot of Mod Podge. You want to use um, a non-stick surface to work on because you're going to paint one side and then paint the other side, get it nice and wet, and then stick it on the bowl. I like to start with one right in the center so that we make sure we don't have a hole in the bottom of our bowl. So start right there. And then I'm just gonna repeat that over and over and over until I have it covered. So you can see I'm overlapping here. I wanna cover up those gaps. Let's see, like that. I mean, you know, just do what works for you, what you think looks nice. You can actually leave some small gaps in the bowl if you wanted to, depending on how you're gonna use this. I'm gonna fill it all in so that I don't have any open spaces if possible. So you'll see when I push it down, the leaf will stick to the plastic wrap there. Some of it does keep popping up here. We're gonna take care of that after we're done adding all the leaves. So don't worry about it if you see some pieces popping up. We will fix that. So when you're done adding the leaves, you might notice that the ones on the bottom and even on the sides, they're starting to pop up. And you might be feeling like, okay, this is a craft fail. No, this is what we do to handle that situation. We take some more plastic wrap. Squish those leaves back down where we want them. See that? Press them all together into the Mod Podge. And I like to tuck in the edges so that I know it's going to hold nice and tight. So now I have molded the leaves to the shape of the bowl. And this is how I can make sure that they are going to dry stuck together and shaped like the bowl. Now, obviously it's gonna take longer to dry this way. So one option is you could take a hair dryer 
What I like to do is put it in a sunny window and just let the sunshine dry up this outside area first. So we're gonna set this aside for a day in the sunshine, let it dry, and then I'll show you how to dry the inside next. All right, so we can tell that it's dry because we don't see that milky white film anymore. And we're gonna take the outer layer of plastic wrap off. And it's possible that the inside is still wet. So what I'm gonna do is remove it using the plastic wrap. You want to be careful because if it's still damp, you can mess up the shape. So now I'm going to flip my bowl over and put my leaf bowl inside. Okay, so I can tell it's still a little damp here. I can leave it like this if it's really, really wet, or since mine is mostly dry, I'm going to carefully peel off the plastic wrap. and let this continue to dry inside the bowl so it doesn't lose its shape. Now that my bowl is completely dry, I can remove it. And my final step to keep the Mod Podge from getting tacky, like if you live in a humid environment or I don't know, just to me, it always still kind of has a sticky feel to it. I like to finish it off with the sealer. This is my favorite one from Krylon. It's triple thick crystal clear glaze. It gives stuff a glass like finish. So I'm gonna spray both sides to coat it and seal it so that it has a shiny glass-like finish and then it'll be ready to use.